So now that Colorado officially wrapped up their last final scrimmage game of 2023, I'm going to give you guys my favorite matchups to watch from TCU and Colorado. And it's going to definitely be on the outside when we talk about the skill position. So now that Colorado scrimmage game for 2023 is finally complete, I want to explain to you guys what goes on after the scrimmage game because I realize a lot of my viewers is learning as we go. They're going to watch film. They're going to see the mistakes they made so the players won't have any excuse. Coaches got to come down to some very tough decisions. Only 70 players can travel to TCU. Only 70 players can travel to, to CCU. Also, guys are going to red shirt. We're going to have all those updates on MagDog TV as we get them this week. So that's definitely what's going on right now up there in Colorado. Now, fast forward, TCU versus Colorado football game. This is just something I want to give you guys. Just, you know, I mean, of course, we still have two weeks out. But I'm definitely checking out this Travis Hunter versus Josh Newton situation. Josh Newton is a real good playmaker. He spoke highly of Deion Sanders, believe it or not. Starting in 15 games last season, all Big 12, and the man can definitely ball. He's a straight ball hawk. I'm going to let you guys hear what he said about Coach Prime and, a, and his best DBs list and all of those things, and then I'm going to get right back to it. All right, Josh, I just got to ask you, man, just growing up, mm -hmm. who were some of your favorite football players? Man, who? Growing up, uh, obviously, obviously, probably like Deion Sanders. Uh, Darrell Reeves is my favorite, my favorite corner, just mm – -hmm. Just the, the simplest, simple uh, play style, and I get it from him. I like Patrick Peterson. Uh, him and Darrell Reeves is just one of the more of the modern day guys that I watch because you know Dion was before my time. He was he just the OG that did it first. The swag, the confidence, he give you all the just everything. Now, just because he look up to those guys and he idolizes his game after those guys doesn't take away from his skill set on the football field. He's very. Third or fourth round. I mean, before the fifth round, top four, that's a real deal. The man can definitely play. I mean, especially if he's on the NFL radar. I look for him to travel to know what Travis Hunter has to face this upcoming game. I mean, it won't be no cakewalk. I also love this man's mentality. Fellas, family, I just want to say, man, I'm just so happy to be here, dog. Like, I came a long way. Like, back of the line type of guy. Like, grinding my way through trials and tribulations. Take really serious because it's do or die on Saturdays. Whenever it's time to line up and play ball, do not take for granted at all because all has got 100 plus partners wish they could be in these seats right here and they can play that off for real. But you the chosen one to sit in that seat. So make your mark in your seat what we going to do with it. Because we turn these lights off and lock arms day one to day 60. These are the only people we need to count on, dog. Outsiders gonna be outsiders. We need to focus on here. Trainers, coaches, players, everybody else, outsiders. Cause they ain't putting in the work. They not putting in the time. So they gonna do this all day, whether we win or not. But if we on one heartbeat and one sound, we can't be beat, man. We can't be beat. Can't be beat. Won't be beat. Come on, man. What we gonna do, dog? What we gonna do, dog? Put up a shut up. Simple. He says that they won't be beat. They can't be beat. He's going to eat his own words, especially when he lines up against Travis Hunter because he's the real deal. I mean, there's only one Travis. That's all I'm saying. But just want you guys to be educated on what's going on. It also starts on the offensive line and defensive line. That's really going to dictate the game. Let's hear what Coach Prime got to say. <laughs> Travis is different, man. You know, the young folks got a saying now, I'm him. Travis is him. The end zone, and it's a leaping touchdown punt by Travis Hunter. Trust me, it ain't too many Travis Hunters in America. And that's how we're going to end this video. Drop a comment and let me know how you guys feel about this matchup or whatever matchups you guys are checking out. And if you guys like the video, definitely subscribe to the channel.